Where is it at? I guess my oh yeah, I'm on low graphic quality. But here, actually no, you can see it faintly in the distance. You see that? Those little green things that are moving. That's like yeah, you guys can see that, right? Kinda looks like eyes on the stone. Right there. On my head. That is the Zetsu uh world, I guess. Or like you have to protect the mansion. And if you um see that but it's at the leaf village that means that corona boss is here and you will get the four tails mode so when that spawns lightning mode also spawns and it is on top of the raikage's uh mansion so turn on lightning mode really quick you only have to press z once you don't have to press it twice because if you press it once this is what happens. You can deal damage to any NPC. And as you see, the damage goes up. I did 26, now I did 29, 29, now I did 33. The damage keeps on going up, really amazing. So if you don't want to AFK, I suggest you just walk past them like this. Make sure that your arm hits them. Easier way is just first person, I guess. A little bit faster. I like doing that. So, um, while you're doing this, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do AFK method. What you do is, you're going to have to get uh, this auto-clicker. Just go into any web browser. This is Oprah GX, a very good auto-clicker. I was just showing auto-typer from before. Um, auto-clicker. It should be the first link by SourceForge. It is free on iOS. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is an Apple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just updated my phone, so I'm just thinking about iOS. Um, no, it should be free on Windows and on Mac. It is not free. My friend told me he plays on Mac. Uh, he said I think it's five dollars. I'm not sure exactly, but it's very good. Uh, you can change the hotkeys on it like uh, I like mine to be control enter so let's say if I accidentally press any key uh, it doesn't it doesn't just turn on it's kind of like a safety feature where I can't just press control I have to press control and enter and um, as you can see I have it for six seconds so let's go over to Roblox uh, data rush he is level 1500 he has 1200 hp you can find most of these facts on the uh, nrpg beyond wiki Oops. and um yeah you you can really just find most of the stats i'm probably gonna have to go on it myself and add some stuff because it isn't completed i don't know if i will i don't really care either way but um i might just put Actually, no, it doesn't matter. So, Datara and Naruto, they have the same amount of uh, health. They're same level, same health. And if they're stuck like this, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're stuck. But, like, they won't attack you if you use this. Now, sometimes if you accidentally hit, they won't attack at all. Especially if they're in the running position. As you can see, I just got some quick money right there. And Pakura and Shino, I believe, give you 10,000. I'm not sure about Sasuke boss. I haven't done him in a while because I haven't seen him spawning, but that's okay. Yeah, and, and so you can literally just stand right here. And because he's running, it's kind of like he's pushing himself into your arm. It doesn't work all the time, but it still works. Why does this keep on happening, bro? The game is so laggy. I'm very sorry, guys. I need a better laptop. Yeah, I play on laptop. That's okay. But as you can see, he's running into my arm and dealing damage to himself. So, once you rack up and... Oh, damn it. It doesn't work anymore. Okay, that's okay. So, I suggest you turn on the auto clicker. Put it to 800 milliseconds. I just prefer that because it's not too fast and also not too slow. Because uh, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So if you just turn this on, full enter. You see, I punch there, and I'm dealing damage. Now, once I rack up enough damage to
to do 1,200 uh, damage, I guess, uh, you'll be able to one-shot Datara. And when that time comes, you will want to have it so your auto-clicker clicks every 6 seconds instead. Because that's the amount of time it takes uh, Datara from when you kill him to respawn again. So make sure that Datara is at full health when you turn it on. And when that happens, actually, he doesn't really have to be at full health, you just have to kill him. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, let's say I can do 1,200 damage, I just kill him, and he's dead. It's gonna be 6 seconds until he's back up, and he is, um, well, full HP. And, um, if you guys didn't know, you can now, I, I think you've always been able to do this, but it was really hard to get money back then until I came out with this method. There's also other methods that people did, but I think this is the best one because it's AFK method. Uh, so, Clay Dragon, I haven't gotten it yet. It's 85 million real. Wait, let's see. Yeah, that's 85 million. And, um, I mean, I've killed Datara, like, over... Man, I don't even know. Literally, I've killed Datara the whole night and nothing spawned. Pretty sure it might have despawned. I'm not sure. But, uh, I've killed Datara a bunch of times non AFK and I've never gotten the Clay Dragon. So, um, now I'm not saying that you should do this with all moves in the game because that's just pay to win. Come on, guys. No one likes to pay to win. Trash kids who are pay to win. Like, yeah. I'm specifically talking to anyone who's a pay to win and watches this video. Don't do it. It's annoying. It's disgraceful to all the people who actually worked hard to make this game and make this game actually great because I've been playing since it first came out. And even though it was like a couple, uh, maybe a year ago, I became max rank, uh, that doesn't mean that, what's it called? Actually, no, like seven months ago? Yeah, seven months ago, I became max rank. And I've been playing the game for a long time. Well, if you guys didn't know, it wasn't as easy to get moves like this. Um, and as you can tell, I have Sasuke's running gun, dust release. I used to have modders on this right there. And I forgot what else I had besides the off. Oh, I had, uh, what's it called? Lava? Yeah, I had lava release. And I also had Itachi or something. But I had, a, I've literally used every single KG in this game. I don't think I've maxed out all KGs. But, uh, I think I just haven't maxed out Scorch and Boiling and Boil Release. That's okay. I don't really care about those releases. They nerf them anyways. They really make out, they make a new KG and they nerf it. Kind of funny. But, yeah, that's okay. So, um, that's kind of how you get, uh, Sasuke's, uh, Humanoid Susano and... Kieran and Kieran is 45 million row. Susano is 50 million and Bay Dragon 85 million. So I suggest that if you're gonna buy anything, let it just be these two. I don't know if this is broken yet. I have not confirmed. Maybe my luck is trash. Maybe it is broken. I'm not sure yet. I'm pretty sure it isn't broken, so don't buy that just yet. But, um, yeah, because the other two are broken, I suggest you get those whenever you can. You need to be A rank, wait, no, C rank for Susano, A rank for Kieran. And, yeah, so, that's it, guys. And, actually, so, hold on, here, let's turn this off real quick. It's really laggy, though. Oh, okay, there. Now let's turn on Renegon. So, you can use Susano with Sasuke's Renegon, regular Sharingan, custom Sharingan. I don't know if you can use it with Itachi's, Madara, or regular Renegon, but uh, that's okay. Now, Ramorous, he's another M NRPG Beyond YouTuber. I don't really consider myself one, but I make videos on it and I'll play the game for a while. So, I, I know a thing or two. So, he made the Susano, uh, what's it called? He made the Susano Shadow Clone Jutsu, where you can have multiple Susanos, and I think they all fire. 
I forgot. I haven't watched the video in like a year or so. But yeah, it's pretty nice jutsu. Who also makes a bunch of other like custom in-game jutsus that you can do yourself. Uh, most of them involve flying Rajin, which is amazing because I love those jutsus. He made it so he made the uh, the shadow clone flying Rajin kunai jutsu, where like he can shoot multiple of them. You literally just equip it and you spam uh, whatever key it's on and click at the same time, I believe, and that's how you do it. So that was pretty cool. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> um. So yeah, he just, he made that jutsu and it's one of my favorites, so I'll put a link to his channel down below. He doesn't make videos anymore, but that's okay. So that's how you get, um, that's how you AFK grind money in NRPG Beyond, and also how to get Susano and Kieran, because they don't spawn. But if they do spawn, which it never will, trust me, I've literally waited for 5 hours. It's supposed to spawn every 2.5 hours. I've even waited longer than that, I'm pretty sure. I once went like AFK, started watching YouTube and everything. I was just sitting in my chair, <laughs> waiting. And yeah, it never spawned. But if it does, I believe it is supposed to spawn, if I'm correct. If it does spawn or I heard people say it spawns back here or something I don't know and I also heard other people say that it spawns down here underneath the stairs I've been underneath this underneath the stairs and uh, there is space down there it isn't like actual block it's like yeah you guys know what I mean but um, that is where it's almost supposedly supposed to spawn supposedly it's supposed to spawn <laughs> and Kieran spawns on the pillar where uh right across from where old hawk jutsu used to spawn if you can see the pillars right there yeah uh the far left one let me just go over here real quick oh and another tip is whenever the timer and beyond says uh 30 like it can be 5 30 6 30 that is when a jutsu would spawn it doesn't spawn every 30 minutes well i mean it does but it doesn't show it only shows whenever the clock like that hour says 30 minutes oops let me know what's on god this is so laggy Jeez. Okay, but yeah, it just spawns on this pillar. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. It's probably just a scroll. What's that? Really? Okay, but oh, and this is where uh, Kamui spawns. Sadly, you can't use Kamui with uh, Sasuke's run again, but that's okay. It didn't really, oh my bad. Didn't really expect that at all. Like, here, it's like, yeah, it doesn't work. But you can use custom, the regular Sharingan. I don't know. I think you can use Madara's. I believe. Yeah, you can use Madara's and Pachi's. But that's it for today. Uh, and like the next two minutes, I'll be making a grinding method for uh, noobs, or I'll try to. I'm just gonna figure out and talk with some friends how uh, noobs can get cash and EXP fast. So that's all for today, and see you guys next time. Like and subscribe, please. Um, I really want it. I don't need it, but I want it. Oh yeah, and also, <laughs> sorry, I keep on talking, but uh, I invented the combo with uh, Ten Sagon, where you use the last move. Well, first you use Flying Rajin. And you attack, uh, like you hit a player with it, and then you use uh, at the exact same time you use the last move for the Sagon. I remember with that combo, I defeated one of the an RPG Beyond YouTubers, uh, the Sama One Two One. Very nice guy. I've talked to him only a couple times. Pretty sure he doesn't remember me, but that's okay. And yep, that's it for today. Bye.